Hey everyone, it's James here from How To Switch. Ever since I purchased the Switch back in March, I've been really enjoying my Switch. However, that doesn't mean that the Switch has its downfalls. One of the glaring issues is the Switch's lack of storage. So today, I'm going to discuss if the Nintendo Switch really does have storage concerns. So, like I've stated earlier, one of the concerns of the Nintendo Switch is its lack of storage. Currently, the Nintendo Switch has 32GB of internal memory at its disposal, with roughly 25GB available to be used out of the 32GB. So, that does not give you much storage for your games on your Switch, especially if you are purchasing games digitally. This leads us into the reality that it is almost necessary to purchase a micro SD card for your system. Which, thankfully, Nintendo decided to go with micro SD cards, which are readily available instead of some other form of storage that might have not been. Now, the problem with micro SD cards are that the largest cards available are 400 gigabyte, which are rather pricey and hard to find. However, the 32, 64, 128, and 254 gigabyte cards are widely available. While it is great that we have so many different sizes of micro SD cards at our disposal, however, it is becoming more apparent that even if you purchase a 254 gigabyte card, you will most likely not be able to store all of your games on that card over its life cycle. Now, this is an issue. Some would consider it a major concern. I'd say it's pretty minor. Since the Nintendo Switch was designed as a portable console, a lot of people are purchasing games digitally, which really can eat up your storage space rather quickly. Another unforeseen issue is that many of the third-party games coming to the Switch require a download, even if you have purchased the physical copy. My guess is that the game cartridges for the Nintendo Switch are still quite expensive, so third-party developers are using smaller, cheaper cartridges to help cut costs. So, what's the best method in dealing with game storage on the Nintendo Switch. If you are a person who purchases most of or all of their games digitally, then a large micro SD card is essential and you will have two options when your storage is full. Either you uninstall games that you have finished or will not go to in the future. This will make room for the new games. Alternatively, you can purchase another micro SD card which in my opinion is undesirable because now you have to switch micro SD cards to play some of your games. Plus, it can be very difficult to know which games are on which micro SD card. You can also go the route of purchasing physical copies of games that will greatly reduce the need for storage. But like I said earlier, because of the costs associated with the game cartridges, third-party developers are forcing you to download a portion of the game, which could eat up your storage space rather quickly. For example, NBA 2K18, WWE 2K18, Doom, and LA Noir are just some of the examples of games that are forcing you to download some of the game if you purchase the physical copy. And it seems like as the Switch's library increases, so too will these downloads. So be prepared. So does the Nintendo Switch have storage issues? I'd say it does, but 
it is a minor issue and might not even become an issue because micro SD cards are becoming cheaper and larger. So maybe two to three years from now, a one terabyte card might be readily available and this will not be an issue at all. I have a 128 gigabyte card in my Switch right now and I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon. Even though I've gone through just over half of my space currently. I plan on uninstalling games that I don't play or finished in order to make room for the new ones. So that's all I have on the current state of the Nintendo Switch's storage issues. But before I go, I'd like to know how do you plan on combating storage issues on your system? Have you been forced to get a micro SD card? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. How to switch out.